Hey everyone, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts. Now, uh, recently I uploaded a video on um, creating taxiway lights as uh, as 3D models. Now, it's become quite a popular video. I'm really happy of that. Uh, the only issue we've got now is that I keep getting a lot of people saying to me, okay, how are we going to make these lights more visible? Because when you're fairly close to them, that's fantastic. You can see them, they look brilliant. But the further away you get, the less of the light you can see, the less it blooms out, the less of an impact it makes. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm here to try and fix that. So now, this is the original light that I made for that tutorial here. Now, bring that up to there like that. As you can see, it's exactly the same light, it's all well and good. Nighttime, we get the illumination as we would. Now, from a distance, that light's not going to get any bigger, it's not going to get any smaller. All it's going to do is just grow faint. It's going to disappear from our view eventually, and we're not going to see it. So, how are we going to fix that? If you're not very good at making effects, or if this is for, say, Flight Sim 9 or, or something like that, then you can always use LODs. Now, no one really pays much attention to this little box here because there's usually only one number in it, unless you're dealing with like default objects and things like that. Let's jump into this folder here. Now, you see here it says light LOD 1, light LOD 2, LOD 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, to 10. Well, I have just finished making all of these models. Now, they're exactly the same as this, only with minor differences. So let's bring in LOD1. Exactly the same, right? Let's bring in LOD2, LOD3. Are you noticing anything different? Now you should notice something different. Well, the major difference is the light, the size of the flare itself. Now if we go back into here, and we're going to go onto Blue Edge, the original one, which is the exact copy of Blue Edge 2. We'll bring in number 2. We'll bring in number 1. It's an exact copy. Only this one I've included some LODs. Now as we get further away from the light, in Flight Sim, the LOD will change down, thus making the light appear bigger and brighter. Now, in order to add LODs, all you have to do is get your original model, like this, make a copy of it. If we go into wireframe, just get your original model, like this, and make a copy of it. Now the light flare, you just want to make that bigger every time. That's all I'm doing. See that? That's all that's happening. But if we go to daytime mode, all that's happening is the light is just getting bigger. If we go for that, you'll see exactly what I mean. So that's all you have to do, just make several copies of the same model, each time increasing the size of the flare itself. Now I did this using SketchUp, each one of my models, you know, I just made the light a bit bigger, um, the flare a bit bigger, exported, made the flare a bit bigger, exported, made the flare a bit bigger, exported, and once I got down to this LOD here, this was the last one I made which was a, a duplicate, the next one, all I did was get rid of the underglow and get rid of the structure itself and just made the flare bigger for the past, uh, for the next few. That also saves a few polygons. So when you're far, nice and far away and you can still see the light, as you get closer, the detailer come in and you can see the structure as well. That's also helpful, saving a few frames. But that's how you make LODs. Now, how you attach them is fairly simple. This little tool right here says generate LODs. 
all you have to do to import an LOD, so if we've got here LOD5, say if I wanted to import a slightly bigger one, this little button down here, say LOD2, then click on import LOD, then you can choose the one you want, it can be anything, and then you press OK and that will appear in your list. But because I've already got all the LEDs I need, that's all I need. Oh, another thing you may notice. I didn't do much tweaking. I did I did make them very quickly. So yeah. Not much tweaking went on. But still. That's everything you need to do. And then it's just a simple export as you normally would. Export as FSX MDL. But I've already done it. So now let's get that fsx mdl into a library object or should say an object library that would, that would be better uh, if we just open up the most recent one not there fsx temp scenery where are we there we go uh, that one taxi light lod light that would be the one blue edge 2 get rid of that Remove, and I want blue edge one. And we save the library. All right, that's all done. Taxi we like with LODs. Just pop that into there. Yeah, replace. Yeah, let's boot up flights in. And um, test. Testing is always the fun part. I have never enjoyed testing. The main reason why I've never enjoyed testing is <laughs> fairly simple. It's so tedious. All right. EGHI, Southampton, of course. Go for actual night and fly. You guys didn't see that because I used a cutaway or I may have sped up the image, but still. I will get old waiting for flight sim to load. I can see it happening. Okay, let's go forward. And let's go up. Okay, this may be a familiar sight. This is how I placed in my objects last time. Again, Southampton. Why the hell not? Alright, so. Let's come down to, say, about here. I'll do nicely. And let's get ourselves something going on. Instant scenery. Ugh. Okay. Now, I put a line of objects down the middle as well to um, sort of demonstrate the difference. Okay, there we go. We'll start from there. Line of objects. Go to here. Add to another file because I don't just don't want you to reload. Extra two. That'll do. Okay. Now we're going to close this and we're going to expand the screen. This will just show you this, the key difference between the two lights. The ones on the right are the standard lights that I made last time. The ones on the left are the ones I just made. Now that's how you can make your lights more visible from a great distance. Um, I don't know if these particular LOD numbers are correct, they might not be, they might be, who the hell knows. But you can really tell the difference between this now. As you get further and further away, the light grows, and the closer you get, the more detail shows up, and the smaller the light gets. But yeah, those lights are now bigger, and brighter, and you can see them. You can see them!
So yeah, well, I'm. I hope you enjoyed this. It, it, it wasn't a very informative tutorial. Like I didn't exactly show you how to make the LODs and things like that. But like I said, it's as simple as just duplicating the original model and making the light flare itself a bit bigger. Then exporting that, bring it into Model Converter X, convert it into a proper flight sim model, saving it, doing that about a million times until you have the amount of LODs you want. Going into Model Converter X with your main model that you want to add LODs to. Click Import LOD, or just say click on Manage LODs or Generate LODs, then click on um, the number in the Import LOD section, change it to what you want, and then boom bam, dealt with. But yeah, that is exactly how you import LODs using Model Converter X. You can see they are very, very pretty. They certainly do flare out. These are not bloom enabled either, so even if I turned the bloom on, they wouldn't be enabled for the bloom. But as you get closer, the more detail you see. The further away, the less detail you see, but the brighter the light. So, it's all good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm back there again, apparently. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Mark from Soulfly Concepts. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, and I will catch you later. Later is a good thing. Because that's when I'll catch you.